What's going on, everybody? I'm Doghouse42, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So, when last we left off, we were trying to figure out Dampy Shack. That last episode I made, I had to edit the heck out of it because, I mean, we got Old Baron, we got the last of our running around hearts, except for this one up here, the last of the seashells, except for this one over here, and then, of course, we got two heart pieces and one secret seashell that we get from Dampy. So that's what we're doing today, is we're going to be running through some of those challenges. And I may edit this one as well, so you don't have to watch me build the dungeons, but we're going to play through the dungeons. Um, whoops, where am I? That was weird. Went to the wrong screen. So, um, under the map, where is it? Memories, X button. Okay, so I don't know how many of the different owl things we get but <clears throat> uh, heart pieces we're at 29 out of a total 33 I want to say and I can see three of them up on the board and I don't know where 34 33 30 yeah I don't know where the last piece of heart is I'm gonna have to readdress that I think we'll wait till we get what we can get from Dampy and the turtle Rock Mountain, I think is what it's called. We'll figure it out then. Um, we have 48 out of 50 seashells, but we can see two of them that we're missing. So we know where two, the, the last two of them are, at least. Uh, these ones over here. So it looks like we got... Hmm. I got exclamation marks, but no dungeon tiles. I don't know if I have these and they haven't been unlocked. I don't know if these tiles get unlocked as I progress through Dampy's challenges, but it says that I have 11, but I can only see five of them. So I don't know what this means. Yeah, this says I have four. So I have 139 tiles total. None of these are exposed. This is so weird. I don't understand how this is supposed to work. Hmm. What in the world are these? Huh. Well, anyway, we can see uh, we could see a difference here. I should probably pull that up one more time. X button, memories. There we go. So you can see the difference between like um, this one right here. You could see that I have four of them in, and it says these tiles times four, but they all have exclamation marks on them. And I don't know why that is, but you can see a difference between the tiles that apparently I have and all the other tiles that I apparently don't have. Um, <clears throat> again, excuse my voice. It's kind of coming and going because of the construction around here. Uh, but yeah, that's like three minutes of explanation. Let's just get in there and do it. So we're going to talk to Dampy, of course. Hey there. Company's always welcome. Uh, what are you here for? And I don't... We also have these amiibo things. Right? And I know that we can store a dungeon in an amiibo. We can also use somebody else's amiibo to receive the dungeon that's saved on that amiibo. And we can play through it. Or we can get a special chamber. And so... I got a stack of them over here. So we're going to scan this one. This one is Super Smash Brothers Zelda. And apparently I can only get five of these. So we got Great Fairy's Chamber, and they're apparently random, and you max out at five. So we might as well just scan all these in. Uh, get Special Chamber. This one over here is Breath of the Wild Link Rider. Amiibo confirmed. And this is the only thing that Amiibos do in this game. Moblin Chief's Room. Okay, terrific. I'm going to go to Amiibo. Get special chamber. This one over here that I'm scanning is Skyward Sword Link. Okay. And we got the Ball and Chain Troopers Chamber. Next one, uh, Amiibo number four that we're scanning here is going to be Breath of the Wild Link Archer. Scan that in. Amiibo confirmed. Terrific. Oh, I didn't read it in time. Winged. It was up on the screen for a moment. Uh, Amiibo. Special Chamber. This one over here is Super Smash Brothers Chic. Okay. Armos Knight's Chamber. Cool. And we're going to do one more. Whoops. Nope. We're going to go back. Sorry. I hit that button too fast. I'm going to go Amiibo. 
special chamber. This one is Breath of the Wild Zelda. I just want to see what happens when I scan a 6 one. Amiibo confirmed. Okay to remove it. You have a very... Oh, you have every special chamber. Okay, so confirmed. There's no point in scanning more than five of these Amiibos. Um, and that's all they do in this game. There's no overworld or special outfit or nothing you can get from them. Um, next, we're going to go to Adventure. Okay, so this is, I can replay some of the dungeons I've already done, but if I go back to build, I can see a third adventure, but I can't access it from there, so I have to go to a range, and now I can get to here. So this is going to give me, let's see, a passage across. You can't place chambers on those light gray tiles to the upper right. Um, the only way to reach those tiles is with chambers that have stairs. This is what this challenge is all about. Uh, you'll learn how to use stairs to cross long distances or your fail. Uh, one of the two. Okay, so we are going to start with... We're going to go with the simplest routes. So we need something that's got stairs. Okay. Huh. Let's actually go R. We're going to look for stairs and a dungeon. Okay, we're going to look for this one, stairs in a dungeon. No. What about, that's not going to be helpful. So, that'd be cool if we can get stairs and a dungeon. Here's one with stairs and a dungeon. Terrific. So we're going to slap that one right there. Terrific. And then we're going to grab one of these that's just basically got nothing. Uh, but that's not an option, so we're going to grab just that right there. Good enough. Okay, next up, we need uh, a two entry that's got both stairs and a lock on it. And some of these are grayed out. I don't know why it's not letting me click on that one. Maybe we can pick this one up and put it here? No, it needs to have a lock and stairs on it. Oh, maybe it's already in use. Maybe it's auto-selected that one for me. Okay. Um, in which case, we're going to put the monster room. We're going to fight... Eh, we're going to fight this guy just to make it a breeze. We're going to put him right there. So, yeah. I don't we know where the nightmare key is going to come from. But then we're going to grab our entrance. Um, yeah, this one right here. It's just the simplest. Just one door. Boom. Okay, so I think we're good. Now here's another thing I found out, is if I click on this one, it lets me just go straight to it. That's one thing that it took a long time for me to figure out how to how to just go adventuring. If you click on the star after you arrange it, you're good to go. You're aces. So let's, there's nothing I need out of this room, but let's just break pots, because I love breaking pots. Hello, gentlemen. Okay, so let's take a look at our map. Okay, so we automatically start with the map, which makes sense on account of we built this dungeon. Quick sip of my... Oh, my disgusting energy drink here. Okay, so I don't think that... I don't know if the, uh, the tiles that we select... Oh! Um, these Underworld 2, 2D side view whatever um, rooms, like the one I'm currently in. I don't know if those are, are determined by the stairs that I grab or what, but... Okay, we got one rupee. Terrific. Um... Oh! Got that one on the first try. And then... I don't know... I don't know if this guy's gonna let me do it from here. Yes! Oh! Cool. Okay, that will bring that box up. That'll give me the nightmare key. Cool. Nightmare key, terrific. Now we're going to go beat that Big Mac slug. Okay, that this isn't so bad. Yeah, I don't know, because I don't... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I don't know what determines the 2D thing. It, it's 
it's of little consequence. It doesn't matter at all, but um, considering I pick out everything except for that, I just don't know. I'm curious. I'm curious. If you guys know the answer, uh, please do leave it down in the comments. I, I would like to know. Alright, slug monster. Get your button bloom, because I'm going to smack it. Like that. I'm getting pretty good at fighting this guy. Um, I read a funny joke in, in some of the, the message boards trying to find information about the uh, Dumpy's challenges, and they were making fun of the fact that everybody chooses to just spam the hamburger, or the, uh, the I don't, the Moldo, Moldoro or something? What a show. There were times I'd swear you had one foot in the grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A thrill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. Is it a tile? It's a tile. You got a chamber. I don't know the difference between chambers and tiles. Maybe I just made up the word tile. Slot it into the dungeon to see what's inside. Okay. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want it. Uh, what are you here for? Actually, I'm gonna quit because maybe he's telling me exactly what to do and I'm not paying attention. Okay. Well, here I was thinking I'm slotting it. He told me to slot it into the stone to see what it does, but that's not a thing I could do, so... Alright, let's arrange. So, the internet is calling these... Oh, okay, we got a couple more here. Um, so now we got Tier 2, and there's also t Tier 3, and there's 4 on each tier, so 12 in total. And then, I think, endgame stuff, he unlocks, like, a multitude of them that may get much larger. Um, but I don't know how to unlock all the tiles that I currently have, which is a pickle of unprecedented proportions, because building these dungeons gets a little bit difficult. So here's fill up your hearts. It's up to you uh, what chambers to use and how to arrange them. Just make sure you fill every single tile in that heart shape with the chamber. Mind how you go connecting the exits and stairs. Sorry, I don't normally read that slow, but I'm kind of reflecting on the, his verbiage. So he says, uh, it's up to you what chambers to use. So the chambers are the rooms. That's what he means. So every time he hands me a stone and it's called a chamber, it's a chamber. Um, but then he says every single tile. So the tiles are probably the game board that we use. That's why I'm making this mistake. Okay, so um, let's start with the obvious ones. We're going to need a couple of ones that... Whoops. Okay, one room. There we go. Let's see. Is there any options without a key door? There is. Huh. Oh! You know what we forgot? I forgot the boss monster. So we need one of these to be the boss monster. We're going to fight a different boss monster. We're going to stick him right here, I guess. Oh, we got one room that's we got one room that's jacked up. It's this one right here. And that that fixes me up, right? Splendid. Okay, so we got one chest, one nightmare key, and one small key. Cool. Que se haga la machaca. Let's, let's, let's make this machaca. I'm excited. Okay, now, because I'm a dummy, I've already kind of forgotten which way I'm going. Ooh. Oh, this guy. I recognize him. He's the space marine. Oh, my goodness. Okay, how do I beat him? Okay, I got the rock's feather I'm gonna need. I don't think this is... Maybe it's this thing. I, I think it might be this thing that actually damaged him. But either way, we need to charge up our sword. Okay, that got him. Oh, you got, you got me. Go, go, Link, go! Okay, charge it, charge it, charge it. Jump, and fling it. Oh, he got me. There we go. And now we can... Oh, get knocked down. But I get up again. There we go. There we go. Whoa! Will this hurt him? What about if I do this? That'll get him. Take that, you... Broken, masked space marine. Hey, I remember this room. We had good times here once. Hey, he butt bumped me. Uncool, bro.
Alrighty. So, I do know that there's an amiibo specifically for this game, Link's Awakening, and I don't know if that... Oh, I do know, actually. I read a, a thing on that. It apparently is no different from any other amiibo that is not already a Zelda-specific amiibo, so it just has common stuff, and I don't know why I'm charging my sword to hit these guys. Um, but... It doesn't really do much in Breath of the Wild, nothing special anyway. And for this game, it gives you Shadow Link, and Shadow Link is just a darker color shadow that Link has. That um, I forgot how to beat this guy. I forgot what we did. All right. Okay, so I pick him up. I can't move, but I'm still all right. Uh, your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. So I need to pick this up and throw it into a wall, I guess? Okay. I guess that's what I do. You can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Uh, understood. Um, but yeah, so Shadow Link, it's your shadow that randomly starts attacking you and just sort of initiates this weird fight. He seems like a huge pain in the butt. Oh, I gotta, I gotta hit it and knock it over. Oh, thank goodness he doesn't talk every single time. Wait, this guy's the mini-boss. One of several that I put in this dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But isn't he the same as the, uh, bad guy I'm fighting at the end of this dungeon? Why, wow, you broke my bottle, why you, you make me hopping man? Okay. Oh. Alright, well, I got a beefed up sword and I'm just gonna take some damage because I forgot how to finesse kill this guy. Alright, so, yeah, I don't need to go all those different directions. We need to go right. Alright, well, let's just do this thing. Oh boy. What's up, fella? How you doing? Hmm, I need a better angle on this guy. Oh, there we go. Please don't come out of your shell till you're dead. Thank you. Okay, so we got a chest. It looks like it's probably going to be a rupee or something, like one rupee. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so more than the, the necessary amount of uh, chests is just kind of useless. Beep. We got both those full, but I could use you. Boop. And boop. And we is out. That was weird. I hit the uh, menu button. Oh, hello, mini boss. Hey! I didn't anticipate him doing that. That's weird. So he's like invincible for a moment between swings, it would seem. Um, yeah, so putting more than the necessary amount of chests, it doesn't really do anything because it only gives you like. Oh, hey, I don't want to talk to you yet because we got this guy over here. Whoa. Oh, my gatos. Oh! Handy. Oop. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't need to talk to you. You're only one thing. Uh, whoops. Wrong button. Okay. Over there. Left, left, and up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Burglars. I thank you. So we got a fairy unlock in the upper right. Oh man, we don't we don't need to worry about fairies. We're good on this. Although we got this guy who may block up that door if I don't get there quick. Sweet. Those guys normally get me. You know what? Oh. I thought he was going to be one of the skeleton knights, like the mini-boss guy that I had to kill like four times. I guess not. What a letdown. Some of these tiles... You know, now that I'm starting to get what Dampy's Shed is all about, this is actually pretty cool. Oh, I gotta fight this guy again. That's funny. Well, 
we already got our practice in. All right, well, hit her, patter. Let's get at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick your tongue out at me, why don't you? I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what you're gonna say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Ace Gittos. Alright, now we do this. Now we do this. Now you do that. Oh my goodness. You know, I remember playing this game when I was a little kid on the original uh, Game Boy with, with the green and greener screen. Terrible dot matrix uh, animation. Or graphics, I should say. I remember playing... I don't remember which guy in particular, but I remember playing some of this stuff. What are these guys going to do? I forgot already. There we go. Oh, that's right. He does that, and then I just kick his bootay. Oh, I failed to kick his bootay. Um, but I remember playing one of these levels, it might have been this clown one in the back of my family's minivan, and it was... I'm glad we've evolved beyond that. Graphics are better, platforms are better. Fill up your hearts clear. Um, so I know that Dampy gives me some stuff, and I'm wondering if now, I think that's the fourth dungeon on tier one what a show there were times that's where you had one foot in the grave yeah yeah i don't know why i'm reading this okay so we got one of the secret seashells terrific oh we also got a heart piece terrific oh oh do we get another tile you've got an act for this i mentioned to see how you handle arranging a dungeon from the ground up i'm thinking i'll throw together a thing where you can arrange a dungeon however you want Watching you down there give me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want it. Uh, what are you here for? I'm going to quit for right now. Because I'm going to step outside. And it's a little past 25 minutes. A couple things we get to do is we get to take the seashell and nix it off our map. We are also going to take one of these hearts and nix that off our map. So we got one, two pieces of heart. Yep. Um, and so that'll complete one, which leaves me two full heart containers. I'm under the impression that, well, I know I'm going to get one from level eight, which is going to be this next piece right here, but that I think I get the other heart piece, the whole heart piece from Dampy himself. Um, but then we got our last secret seashell that's up there by, oops, Turtle Rock Mountain. And that means that I have 30 pieces of heart. And there's 33 of them. I wonder if the last piece of heart is actually a full heart piece. And they're just, they're counting it as the 33rd piece of heart, even though it would be, what, the 36th? Uh, 33, 34, 35, and 36, I guess. I don't know. Um, secret she seashell, we we're missing one. Tiles, it doesn't give you an accurate count, so I just don't even know. But I'm wondering about something. Yeah, we still don't have any of these, whatever these are. But now I can actually see... Nope, I can't actually inspect any of the tiles. That's a disappointment. Anyway, we're at 27 minutes now. It took a minute and a half of your time just to recap. As always, I thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. So long.